Institute of Lactoparmaceutical Research um, and um, all its spin-out companies would bring extraordinary life to the centre of Christchurch. It would be an extraordinary partnership uh, between New Zealand scientists um, and Chinese scientists. That's the sort of foreign direct investment we need. How are we going to achieve it? Well, apart from um, listening to and watching the dreams and visions of others and supporting them, uh, we of course must live at one with nature. And we must conceive of uh, new ships to take us to new opportunities yet to be discovered. And each of us must put our names and brains uh, to this brave new journey. We must each learn to send and receive the economic messages by which we live and die economically. So, amongst other things, we must know the difference between good and bad foreign direct investment. We must um, support the good and push back against the bad by, for example, taking our consumer dollars to those companies that contribute the, the most to the New Zealand economy. And you can make choices between supermarkets, between airlines, um, between telephone companies and the like. And, and elsewhere, we must uh, lobby businesses and politicians too. Because let me tell you, lots of business people don't even get it. And lastly, perhaps we should even all try to earn a few dollars overseas, or at least spend a few less. But above all, we need to take courage. Just when the winter seems endless and the dark night will last forever, spring and dawn will surprise us. As it does in Newfoundland, um, this is the studio of um, <coughs> David Blackwood, um, a, New, a, New Zealand, a Newfoundland artist. In fact, all the images that I'm showing today are from um, uh, David's work. And in the spring of 1983, um, I stayed in his studio for a month um, trying to write a radio play about how a young Newfoundlander um, destroyed himself and his family and his community. Uh, by faking um, the skinning alive as a seal for the sake of a Greenpeace film. Um, and um, that's a tangent <laughs> topic. <I'm making. laughs> it was to say that the radio play was never broadcast. <laughs> but there was a totally magical moment um, in that time I was staying there because when I arrived, the ice in the harbour was lock solid. Um, land and ocean were locked in that icy embrace of winter. Um, we knew spring was coming, but it hadn't quite arrived. But one night, oh, so one morning, things had changed overnight. And um, when I woke up, it was odd because there was light dancing around the room and I could hear the waves. What had happened overnight was that um, that ice had broken up and so we could hear the murmur of the waves and see the light dancing on the reawakened sea. So in that spring, 